After having defined the components, let's see now the properties of the subgraphs. So we will see properties and indexes of subgraphs, the nodes participation contribution to subgraphs, and a special case of ego networks. Freeman proposed a general approach for any kind of centralization at the group level. So we consider all actor centralities, also among these actor centralities the largest value of centrality among the genos, so in the observed graph, and the sum of differences between all the um, actor centralities and the maximum. But also, we consider the maximum theoretical difference between the largest value and all the value of G nodes. For example, for uh, a one mode network, it corresponds to a star graph with so the, the most concentration in one, one node and the other nodes are in periphery. So the general index is uh, at the numerator. Uh, the, the summary of the differences between all the observed uh, values and the maximum observed value, and in the denominator, the maximum of this difference. This general uh, form is applied on different indexes. So here, in the degree centralization, so, for the degree centralization, we will divide the, the summary of all the, the observed difference between the, uh, the, the centrality nodes, the degree centrality nodes, and the maximum degree. And the maximum theoretical is j minus 1 multiplied by j minus 2. Also, we can calculate the group degree centralization variance, taking into account the mean actor degree index here. And so the difference between all the values and the, the mean, divided by the, all the number of nodes G. Also, we can apply it on group closeness centralization. We took, we take, uh, we always take this a general index, and we apply it for the closeness centralization. So with the difference between the observed all values and the maximum. And here the theoretical maximum is j minus 1 multiplied by, by j minus 2 divided by 2j minus 3. And we also can calculate the variance, which will be uh, all the observed values of closeness minus the average norm closeness of factor divided by, by all the uh, the number of all the nodes of, of the of the subgraph it is applied also uh, on betweenness centralization always take a, taken into account taking into account this general index so for the group between a centralization index, it is always the, the observed values minus the, uh, the maximum one divided by the uh, g minus one. And here also the maximum value is a star graph. So it is always a the same general form for different uh, indexes of degree, closeness, betweenness. Either they would be unweighted or weighted, non-oriented or oriented. There's also a, a, a very famous application on information centrality, which is a general betweenness centrality, another uh, centralization index, taking into account all paths and the weight on nodes. It was in particular developed by Shannon and whether about the diffusion of uh, information, but also taken by many so 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 sociologists. So the, uh, this 
general form can be applied on many, many different indexes. Now, we can take into account the node participation in the graph. So let's take into account, for example, the degree of a node I in the subgraph uh, and the cluster CA. So it is the number of internal linkages. And let's take into account all the degree, uh, the, the whole degree of, of the node E in the total graph J. So the participation coefficient of a node I in its subgraph will be the proportion of node I, uh, or of the degree of, of, of I, uh, that are included inside the cluster A, um, divided by the total uh, degree of I. We can calculate the participation balance of the, this node I among all the clusters of the graph. So it will be the summary of all the participation uh, coefficient of node i in all the different clusters and 1 minus this summary. This uh, participation balance will be equal to 0 if all the links are in one cluster or it will be minimal and it will be maximal for uniform distribution of the different linkages of i in all the clusters of, of the graph. We, can, we can compare this form of calculation with the entropy of Shannon, which calculates also a kind of balance between uh, repartition here also of the different uh, participation of node i uh, according to the total uh, number of uh, linkages of i. Parallelly, we can also um, calculate the contribution of every node i to, e, to the subgraph uh, or cluster A, taking into account this time the total links in the subgraph uh, in, the, in each cluster. So uh, the contribution of a node i to a specific cluster will be um, the degree of the node i in the cluster divided by all the degrees in the in, in the subgraph in the in, in the cluster. So the maximum uh, here it is if the node i is the center of the subgraph that is a star graph. Also we can calculate the contribution balance of all the nodes of the subgraph. Uh, or cluster CA, so taking into account all the degrees of uh, the nodes of the subgraph divided by uh, the total degree of the subgraph. And also this value is minimal for a star graph and maximal for the equi contribution of uh, the nodes in the subgraph. We can also compare to the entropy form of this kind of index. So this kind of index were uh, developed also to um, taking into account a multi-level participation or contribution indexes of nodes in different nested groups that could be uh, found especially in geography and how a node can be important at one level but less important at other levels. And so it can also be extended to a multi-level graph. Now we take into account a very specific case of Ego Network. Um, this case comes from data collection uh, and from specific perspective. There is an entire, entire family of metrics that are developed in this context of one node perspective. It is highly useful for sociologists when they make survey about people with some, some specific people in the center of their data. 
So here we make a partition of relation for the nodes eyes perspective. And so from the for example here from the node one we divide uh, the different we uh, the different linkages according to one. And so we defined uh, and we make the distinction uh, between the hierarchical oriented uh, linkages uh, that make paths to one, like here, and the level uh, here uh, linkages that uh, are parallel, uh, perpendicular to, uh, to the linkages to one. And this is called the multiplication table. So it permits to define a specific local role of equivalence and ego algebra. Here, for example, the uh, relation from the node one perspective, one to one is the ego uh, linkage, the reflexive linkages, which is at the same level. Uh, to reach the point two, one can go hierarchically directly to two, or it can go also to three and take the uh, horizontal here linkages to two, which makes H and HL. And the same for three and for four, it can take here the uh, HH and the same for five and the same for six. So here, for example, the limit of the degree centrality of uh, one node depends uh, uh, on the size of the graph, and the maximum is uh, j minus one of a graph. So the maximum degree uh, of one node i will be the j minus one, and so the, we can calculate from an actor degree centrality perspective a ego density, which is the total number of linkages of uh, i to j uh, divided by j minus 1. Also, there are many different indexes like span of an actor, like the, um, the total linkages of i to all the j uh, divided by all the linkages observed in the network. So we saw here the different indexes applied to subgraphs, the node participation contribution in these subgraphs, and the special case of ego networks.